Okay, hey everyone, how's it going, Ash here? So, recently Hasbro did their earnings call for the third quarter of 2023, their big financial year press conference where they talk about what did well, what didn't do well, and they talk about the future and how they see how things are going looking forward. And surprisingly enough, a lot of people are taking away from this is that Power Rangers was mentioned for the past couple, last one of these, Power Rangers doesn't get mentioned, everyone gets confused, everyone gets worried, everyone is upset, in the whole nine yards when it comes to emotion, but if Power Rangers didn't do the numbers or the metrics that they fought, then it wouldn't get mentioned, but it looks like here that it's doing all right, so it got mentioned in this um, little press conference, so I feel like there's something to talk about here. Now, we're going to go over an article done by the Illuminati, and then we're going to go over sort of like the bullet points posted by Ranger Board, which would sort of be easier to consume and understand, because the uh, Illuminati article, which is, Power Rangers got mentioned. Thumbs up, guys. Um, so we'll go over that in a bit. But yeah, I feel like we can talk about this article, give my thoughts, uh, weigh in there with some opinions, and have a talk in it about the, in the comment section. So let's go over it. Let's jump right into it, as they say. So remember to hit those buttons and subscribe to the channel if you're new and all that good stuff. So let's go. Alrighty, so this is from the Illuminati. Hasbro CEO finally breaks silence on Power Rangers in 2023. The legacy lives on. Hasbro CEO Chris Cox finally speaks about Power Rangers for the first time. The future of the franchise seems to be in good hands. Alright, I feel like <laughs> I did watch Hawks' clips about this earlier, and that last part, I feel like that's there to sort of get the thumbs up, guys, it's doing well. It got mentioned, yippee-doo. Um, so let's go into it, let's read it. So it looks like this first paragraph is saying uh, that the Hasbro owns it, and then what happened to the last CEO who unfortunately passed away, so... Let's read the article. Let's skip the filler and get right into the meat and potatoes. <clears throat> Let's go. Today at Hasbro's third quarter 2023 earnings conference call, Cox did the unthinkable, detailing its growth despite the impairments that Hasbro has faced in the in fat ha despite the impairments Hasbro faced this year, in addition to the strikes in Hollywood, as well as reaffirming their commitment to Power Rangers. Do they reaffirm that, question mark? Okay, so let's read the quote from Chris. <clears throat> in, in the entertainment segment, revenues fell 40% mainly due to the strikes by the actors and writers, part partially offsetting this. We saw a 53% growth in family brands driven by sales of Peppa Pig and Power Rangers content. Now, Hearing that it's 53% growth in families brands being Peppa Pig and Power Rangers, is that for both franchises? And this is where I feel like it needs to sort of be a little bit more <clears throat> specific. Is that growth for both figures, like 53% on both ends? Or is like at 50% Peppa Pig and 3% Power Rangers? Or some metric there? Because, you know, Peppa Pig does really well for younger audience, um, really well for like preschoolers and toddlers and babies and stuff like that. Power Rangers, it does well to its like niche audience who still follow it and the kids who somehow keep up with it these days. So I do wonder what those numbers are. Are they, what, like what is the percentage of Power Rangers right there? That's what I want to know because I feel like Peppa Pig is the one that's sort of like eating up all the, um, Eating up all the percentage in my in my speculation. Our director consumer business has grown 50% year to date in 2023. Hasbro Pulse is a modest size platform today, but it's growing rapidly and providing new toys to delight fans. Hey Hasbro, open up a Hasbro Pulse in Australia. Sorry, I had to get that out there. Um, but it's growing rapidly, providing new ways to delight fans and earn from our and. Learn from our consumers, yeah. Open one in Australia, please. We're excited to continue our developing direct in initiatives behind the brands like Star Wars, Marvel, Transformers, Magic, G.I. Joe, D.I. D&D, Power Rangers. 
Oh no, they spelt it wrong again. Dear God. Um, and one of the best <clears throat> brand lineups in the collective universe. Uh, I guess this is a line from the article. Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, I think this is another quote from Chris. Um, <clears throat> yep. Our franchise brands are essential to the company and are linked to our main categories and action figures. You have Transformers and secondly, Power Rangers. All right, then. So that's sort of them saying, hey, we sell toys to sort of promote the movies and that puts the brand out there. That's what I'm getting from this. But uh, this one I want to read. Power Rangers is not leaving Hasbro. Ever since that Lionsgate thing where they're buying E1, there's been a lot of misinformation in the fandom. There's been a lot of miscommunication in the fandom where people think that Lionsgate now owns Power Rangers. They're the ones taking it over after Hasbro. That is some big bullshit. That is some big miscommunication in the fandom. And I'll probably be making a video soon debunking that. Because it takes one YouTuber, or one or two YouTubers, to sort of misword something, and I'm probably guilty of this myself, it takes one or two YouTubers to misword something, and people run with that, and that's sort of like the narrative they spin in like Facebook groups and other comment sections and stuff like that. So I know I'm guilty of probably miswording stuff myself in the time, but I don't have much of a big platform, and I feel like much of a big pool to get that information out there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they talk about Brian Goldner honoring his legacy. Power Rangers, okay, that's a Luminati article. Let's jump over to uh, Ranger Board with a dot point. So uh, this is what went down in the uh, press conference with everything happening. So direct, in direct initiatives at the 840 mark. We are excited to grow initiatives behind the brand. Da, 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 da. Yep, okay. So this is what we went over earlier. So the best thing to take away from this is Power Rangers is doing probably decent enough for them where they thought they'd bring it up in this uh earnings call because the power Rangers was doing dog shit at numbers or not doing the numbers they um wanted them to do then of course you're not going to bring it up in an earnings call like oh power rangers did bad this year uh we'll bring that to the public so i get that i get that uh but i feel like this is an interesting way to see how things are going to go. I feel like Power Rangers is growing a little bit more of Hasbro. Now, they did put out some good products this year when it comes to Lightning Collection and uh, Media Online. We had Once and Always. We had Cosmic Fury. Although, I don't know where Cosmic Fury falls within the financial year um, for them to bring that up. Uh but then we also had the Master Morpher that sold like hot cakes. So that would have probably put a big, a big paycheck in Hasbro. Um, so that would have done well for him. That would have probably helped him out a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this isn't anything to write home about. This shows that Power Rangers is slowly getting up there when it comes to um, Hasbro. I don't know what it's been like in the past couple of years. I'll probably have to go back and check those uh, earnings calls. But I feel like Power Rangers has been an up and a down sort of decline with Hasbro with everything going on when it comes to quality control and stuff like that and not enough media for the fans to consume and stuff like that. So I feel like it's doing all right. I don't think this is anything that's sort of like do backflips over and say, oh my god, thumbs up in the chat, um, Hasbro is doing super well, uh, it's not dead, um, we'll see, but then again, I'm just very, um, sort of on the fence, or you could say about this, grumpy old man, you could say, in a way I'm coming off, but yeah, I feel like this is interesting that it got brought up, and we'll see where it goes from here, and we'll see what happens moving forward, but Anyway, guys, what do you think of this uh, news, this revelation? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Do you understand any of this financial earning call? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear it. And with that said, I think I'm going to bring this video to a close. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Bye.